Breaking news, more and more nether leaks coming out almost weekly at this point, showing us brand new enchants, items, and islands. It looks like for the first time in forever, Hypixel admins are finally going to do their job and upload at the time that they told us they would, which is early 2022. The best way of supporting me is by hitting that subscribe button, that like button, or even just commenting. Any of those really do help me out. Besides that, let's get straight into the news. Hi, my name is Alex. Alex and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock News. Now before we get into this, I just want to say thank you for all the birthday wishes I've been getting. Very kind of you guys. Anyways, let's just go straight into this. So starting from the very beginning, Hypixel released a tweet on December the 14th of a brand new teaser of the Nether update. It looks very big and they followed up this tweet saying, Nether Island revamp is probably one of the biggest projects they've been working on for the past few months, featuring a bunch of new systems and new boss fights. So this is going to be one of the biggest updates that comes to Hypixel Skyblock. So I'm going to be telling you guys all the information you need to know and what should you you do to help prepare yourself for this update the next leak shows us zombie piglins in the nether with the enchantment table ledge at the bottom saying the town of salem x high pixel game is still a week away now this doesn't really make any sense at all but that's what it says deuces tweeted a new mechanic you will see in the nether revamp is items that ability costs aren't mana but are other resources now he shows off the wand of strength with the ability called lifeblood which is a right click ability which uses 10% of your max health to boost your nearby allies by plus 30 strength for 10 seconds and the health cost is 112.3 but of course that is not 10% of your health that's 10% of whoever used that weapon at that time so looking a little bit deeper into this weapon it does say allies so i'm gonna guess that this is going to be something like the dungeons update where you need allies or friends to help you progress and you simply can't do it alone you might be able to do it alone but it will probably be a lot more difficult and just friends would be a lot easier to do it with also the wand of strength doesn't seem to be that good because it only says plus 30 strength to your allies and not to yourself so this is more of a support type item a new skin has also been detected and it looks like some sort of piglin king so this could definitely be something like the dwarven mines and relating with dwarven mines this place could also have some sort of skill tree maybe with combat there also seems to be a new ultimate okay bro yep just walk in front of me yep okay there also seems to be a new ultimate enchant called fatal tempo 5 attacking increases your ferocity by 50 percent per hit this is capped at 1000 percent for three seconds after your last attack this seems like a very strong ultimate enchant for any type of slayer boss and i'm guessing there will be some pretty strong bosses in this new nether update that will require us to use this enchant the final leak seems to be some sort of door with a button on it i'm thinking this could be a vault to a treasure treasure room or maybe it's just a door to open a door if that makes sense and you need maybe some sort of key to unlock a new level or new lair in the new nether dungeons i'm gonna call it a nether dungeon because that seems like it's appropriate name it, it could also possibly just like be a door but Let's, let's just go with the uh, nether dungeon also one thing i do want to mention the text when you jump in the wizard portal has now been reverted and is back to something appears to be broken give me three to five business days to fix it it also turns out mayor barry's six perks are also bugged right now and the admins are working on a fix at the moment okay this is the end of the video and for those who have stuck around all the way to the end i just want to say a big thank you and honestly i've been getting a lot of dms asking if i could turn that the end into like this little review of what's going on in my main profile so that's exactly what i'm gonna do so let's talk about it i know last episode i said i was collecting a bunch of exotics but after getting made fun of for all my exotics looking really bad like look at this strong set it's off hex oh my god that's so ugly look at this wise yellow set it's off hex so ugly and look at this unstable set it's off hex so ugly like i'm getting i'm getting tired of this man i'm getting tired of everyone calling my sets bad so what i'm doing is i'm selling most of my sets at the moment and with that money i'm gonna be buying new sets and hopefully a much cooler set and preferably same hex sets i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time take care of yourselves peace